So what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to start hot gluing my template together. Uh, I'm just going to put a little bit, couple dabs on the wall here. Uh, the hot glue peels right off nice and easy. Easy to clean up after. Um, so it's kind of a, the method we're going to use here. Uh, I've seen a lot of other boat builders use this method and it works pretty well for them as well. So. Alright, let's start with the long ones here. spots I'll have to uh, kind of check. I think this wall is actually bowed out right now, uh, just slightly. So I did put a couple spots, a couple pieces here. Then I'll get a better shot. So this wall here, so there's a gap at the top and a gap at the bottom here. I'll pull the wall in to a certain extent. Um, I can still put clamps across the top of this and just pull it in gently. Uh, that I'll take the bow out of that. The other side looks really good. Um, and again, I, what I'll do is when I get it on the panel, I'll kind of try to get a center mark, which I actually have a center mark on the bridge deck still. Um, so I'll be able to get a center mark on the template I made, and then I'll be able to flip it and see how close we are side to side. If we're symmetrical, if we're slightly off, it's not going to hurt anything. Um, but I do want to get it as close as we can, obviously. All right, so what I did was I put my template down. Uh, I already traced everything out because we're running out of daylight here. Um, there is a slight discre discrepancy side to side of about a quarter of an inch, give or take. Um, it's well within reason for the style of bolt we're building with the pre-glass panels and stuff. Uh, not everything bends equally. Uh, we tried to line everything up the best we absolutely could, but our dimensions did change from the original print. So uh, it's kind of to be expected. Again, doing the, the, the kind of templates like this will eliminate any big gaps or anything like that. So we'll still be structurally sound. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to cut everything out, drop it back in the hull, and hopefully everything fits. So there's a slight bow coming in like this on this panel. Um, I did mark that with these little tabs here, here, and here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this straight across and see if I can't push that bow out a little bit to uh, straighten that wall back out. So, all right, let me get cutting. I did already uh, baby powder my arms, old old uh, trick from the old times I learned. A little bit of baby powder. It's supposed to uh, clog your pores so the fiberglass doesn't really get into your skin and you don't get as itchy. So, yeah, I did that, and uh, I'm just about ready to go here, so stay tuned. So as you noticed, I did not cut this top edge of this panel yet. Uh, I'm waiting to get everything fitted uh, first. If I have to do any trimming and this should drop, I still have uh, about three inches of play here. There is a camber on the top of this curve here that goes all the way along. So once I get everything fitted, I'll make the final cut on the top and uh, yeah, we'll go from there.
Alright, so all in all, we're not too horrible here. Um, obviously I'm way off my line here. I don't know. That's my line. So when I push it up, this gap underneath here will close up. Um, I'm gonna have to put some blocks and stuff in place um, to do so, but it should close up just fine. And then over here, um, I had said the wall's bowed out and it's already pressed the wall out. So I'll probably just have to pull the top of this in a little bit up here, uh, gap there. And again, this has to go back to the line of another inch, give or take 25 millimeters all the way down across so all in all not a bad fit uh i'm gonna play with this for a little bit and uh kind of get everything fit right where i want it um just as a reference i don't again don't know how well this shows but underneath here is our original center line on the bridge deck all the way down coming up and this is the center line i drew on our panel from hall to hall so really we are pretty close. Yeah, it looks pretty good right now. I said I'm gonna get some, uh, do a little fiddling here. Um, I did forget to uh, put painter's tape down yesterday before I hot glued the forms. Um, so I actually have to clean up all the hot glue on the fiberglass now, hindsight. Um, if you think of it, if you're ever doing this, definitely a little bit of painter's tape, just a, a little square hot glue to that, and you can peel the whole thing right off after. It's so much easier than uh, fighting to clean up hot glue out of bare fiberglass. All right, well, I'm going to get to it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell if uh, you guys want to get uh, notified of future videos that come out. So after about an hour and a half of fiddling and playing with everything uh, i got this bulkhead pretty much in place uh, it's just resting there right now uh it's actually wedged in there pretty snug on the back side there are some small gaps on the bottom you can see in here because this whole bow goes up the back side has some some decent gaps to fill but shouldn't be a major issue uh, a little bit of thickened epoxy and we should be able to fill that right up um the front side is pretty tight all the way around a slight gap here at the bottom but this is also kind of bowed towards me so when i push it back it does straighten out pretty good uh i will when i'm ready to glue this in what i'll do is i'll take a two by four or something and run it right across the face of this whole thing to hold this this bulkhead from kind of flexing inwards like that so if i put a two by four on i'll just hot glue it in place across the front and that'll hold everything straight for me my mark with my plumb bob that I did the other day, um, must have been slightly off. Uh, I took my, well, I haven't taken the actual spirit level to this yet. I did use my phone, um, and it's usually pretty accurate. Uh, I just put it against the face, just kind of playing with it. And it seems like the bottom is actually off, I don't know, about three quarters of an inch compared to the top. I'm not really sure how I got so far off with the plumb bob, but. Uh, I will take the spirit level to it later on, and if I have to, I, I like I said, this is still just resting here for now. We're getting there slow but sure. Like I say, I will uh, play with this a little bit more tomorrow, and hopefully I can get it glued in place tomorrow night. Um, again, a little bit more tinkering to do to get it, you know, kind of just right, but I'd rather have it too big and trim it than too small and huge gaps, so. And action. Well, lovely, Miss Cassie. My lovely assistant is gonna mix up some resin for me here shortly. Uh, I just want to get, give you guys a quick rundown on what we did and how we're doing this. Uh, I took a video, you guys will see how I did all the. Uh... What? Go ahead. Yeah, so I, I ran the string across, I ran, dropped the plumb bob down. Um, I was trying to level the panel, and uh, what I think happened was the panel actually bowed out. So as it bowed out, it was throwing my measurements off the level. Um, so my original lines with the plumb bob were absolutely correct. Uh, I went back to that. I put a straight edge clamp to the back of the, the panel now to kind of hold everything nice and straight. Um, I put packing tape on these blocks and then hot glued the blocks down to some painter's tape on the hull. So I'll be able to squirt a thickened epoxy in there uh, and then push this panel right into place, hopefully. 
if all goes well. Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, that's the plan. There's a slight gap over here that I had mentioned. So what I'm going to try to do is I have a big ratchet strap. I'm just going to hook it side to side, and it's only at the top. So it should be able to just kind of pull that in nice and nice and easy. This side it all looks pretty good. There's a slight gap, but that's nothing, yeah, that's nothing compared good. to over here. So I'm just going to put a little pressure on it. And uh, if it doesn't come all the way back into the panel itself, I'm not going to get overly concerned with it. Uh, we'll definitely make sure it, you know, it all fits out in the end here. I think we're ready to go. I'm just going to trim back the peel ply from the edges of this all the way around. Uh, we're just going to get it glued in today. And then we'll come back hopefully this week and uh, do all the fillets, do all the tabbing, and then this bulk hub will be complete. Um, we'll be able to start working our way back. And as always, we are using Total Boat products. And if you want a discount and you plan on using Jamestown Distributors or Total Boat, look for our code in the description below. Use your fingers. Yep, I'll listen. And that is our first bulkhead installed. Yeah. And all I'm doing right now is just cleaning up the Excess. squeeze out. I'm doing what I can for fillets. We're gonna come back over this later. I'll just head over to sander real quick and uh, well, I'm just making sure everything's filled properly. Uh, we got 90% of it when we set it down, so I have to try to get on the back side of this as well. You do? Yeah. You do. I have to glass both sides of this. How are you going to get in there? Fine. You find a way? Huh? You'll find a way? No, I can start with the right. I just add an angle so it's a little awkward. Nice. Yeah. Right, so once this is dry later, I'll, uh, I'll Just be very careful stepping over that. It's higher than your, uh, your leg. What are you saying? No good way to get over there. Um, can you give me a spatula? One of the that rubber spatula is yep. it down there? The real narrow one. That yeah. So we're gonna get a little creative. So uh, we started using the rubber spatulas thanks to Parlay Revival. He uh, it's just a great idea. <laughs> Cheap dollar store. You can trim it to whatever radius you want. Um, unfortunately, I can't get down in there very easily um, to clean up that squeeze out. And there's not a lot of squeeze out, so I'm just going to tape it to a stick, reach down there, and yeah, done here in just two minutes. <laughs> and then I'm going to get out of here and let this all dry for the night. And that's uh, our first bulkhead installed. That's our first bulkhead installed. It's so exciting. There's a little bit more on this side. Uh, as long as I'm within that radius, we're going to, I'm going to sand it out later, so. Kind of working. You need a little more pressure. No, it's just working fine. It's great, isn't it? Door skin's not good. Not just good for creating templates. Yeah. Go gadget on. Okay, that'll actually be the radius I'm going to use in the other side. As far as like that's all concerned. You could say, yeah. There you go. As once I once it dries, I can get in there and clean it up better. I can sand it yeah. if I have to. How are you gonna? Get in here. Mm. Once it's dry, I can climb all over this thing. Mm. I ain't worried about that. It's literally just this part right there that I, I don't want to climb on because I don't want it to move on me. True. So that's kind of my big concern right now. You gotta turn that more. Yeah, there you go. 
again, this is all going to get radius after, so it's not super critical. I'm going to be clean, back in here. Being clean. We also tried adding uh, quarter inch pieces of fiberglass yep. to make it thicker. And I don't think it did much for us, to be honest. You know what, though? It might be more structurally stable. Not even that. When I put it on, it actually did hold higher on the... Uh, so it didn't slump? It didn't slump. Like, I, like usually it slumps when we just put the filler. But when I put it on with the bag, it left a bead. So it stayed. So, like, a, I get it half inch thick, you know? Yeah. So it left, like, a nice bead all the way down. Okay. As opposed to just flattening out on us. Okay. All right, again, so I guess it does stabilize it. Then. We'll see what happens in a little while here. Um, Roscoe uh, does use cotton flocks when he does his, and I'm not sure how structurally sound that is. Uh, honestly, I never really did the research on it. I know glass is structurally, so I bought a bag of the uh, quarter. It's quarter inch shot glass. I'll show it right now. Yeah, if you want to show it, show a little piece in your hand, maybe. Uh, yeah. So this is what we used. As you can see, they're like little pieces of confetti, except this is not funfetti. <laughs> Don't eat it. <laughs> it will make you itch. So yeah. Would you get it, Amazon? Yeah, Amazon. Don't worry, we'll put the link in the description below. All right, guys. So uh, the other day we glued in our first bulkhead. Uh, the epoxy is now all set. Um, there is a little bit of clean up here where it did drip out. There was a little bit of a gap. Um, you can see that. Um, I was going to grind that down tonight. But uh, we're not going to be ready to glass for a couple days anyway. We have to uh, tab in the sides, the whole, both sides of this bulkhead. Um, and I need to prep everything, obviously sand everything before we do so. But I figured while I was at, at grinding and getting all glassy and itchy, I might as well take out the next section of build frames and do the hull joints as well. So that's kind of what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this section of build frames out tonight. Uh, we're going to then tomorrow, hopefully, I'll be able to sand everything down all in one shot, get glassy just once, and then we'll be ready to actually fiberglass the hull joints, fit the next bulkhead, glass the first bulkhead in place, both sides. But that's kind of where we stand right now. Uh, trying to plan a lot of this stuff does take time. Uh, again, like I said, I was planning on just grinding this down tonight and prepping everything. But again, do you do that? And then you have to get glassy again, you know? So it's just little things that, that take all this extra time. But so, all right, well, I'm going to put you guys on time lapse and get to it. And uh, yeah, go from there. A lot more spacious. Uh, I ended up taking the next two sections out only because I thought it was going to be too tight to try to get that bulkhead glassed in here with the bulkhead with this next piece at my back. Um, I do still have the last two sections in and the sides of the hull are still attached to these forms here. Um, when I did release them, uh, the side of the hull from the form here, it did spring a little bit. Um, I believe this is right about the widest part of the hull. Uh, and our beam should be right around eight foot two, give or take. So I may have to just slightly pull this in a little bit when we do the next bulkhead, but that shouldn't be a big deal. So yeah, a little bit of cleanup to do here on these joints and stuff. You see how rough it is here. And a lot of that is just the panels didn't line up quite right when we were putting it on the forms or uh, there was a gap uh, that we tried to fill and it dripped through. Um, to this day, we still have issues with our epoxy. As it cures, it heats up and it, it gets more viscous and it tends to drip and sag. So uh, we're still working on trying to figure that out. We've tried quite a bit of stuff, everything from vinyl silica, chopped glass now, a quarter inch chopped glass. We use the micro balloons, obviously, when we we're doing the fairing. In everything, like I said, as it cures, it heats up and it tends to sag. So not sure what we're doing wrong in that. We mix it just about as thick as we can and it, you know it goes on like paste and then 
five minutes later you got drips so all right guys thanks for watching be sure to like share and subscribe it doesn't cost a thing uh every bit helps uh big thanks to all of our uh, supporters out there now that do subscribe uh definitely share with your friends or anybody that might be interested in our channel and uh hope to see you next time I'll take that too. What? Trash. Oh, it's your trash bucket, right? The trash bucket can go down. I got a dump desk. This is recycle. It's, yes, we recycle everything we can, including the beer foam is recyclable. The what foam? The bear foam. Beer, without... beer foam or the bear foam? The, the bear. <laughs> the bear foam uh, is recyclable. Um, it, it's just a, is it a PVC foam, mm -hmm. I think it is. Yep. Um, so as long as there's no fiberglass on it, we can recycle the cutoffs and stuff as well.